Shadow World is a high fantasy campaign setting situated on the fictional planet of Kulthia. Originally produced for the Rollmaster role-playing game system, the game setting is owned by Iron Crown Enterprises often referred to as ICE. It is currently maintained by the primary author of the setting, Terry K. Amthor of Idol on Studio who also holds the trademark for Shadow World, and copyrights for non-gaming fiction related to the world. The setting blends traditional fantasy elements, such as elves, dwarves, magic, etc., with science fiction, including such elements as space and time travel, and, to a degree, futuristic technology. Themes <laughs> 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 Shadow World is a fantasy and science fiction environment that deals with a number of topics, including the path of the hero, in a fantasy role-playing environment. <laughs> <laughs> development history The first book to be set in Shadow World was the Iron Wind Adventure setting, published in 1980 as a game setting for Iron Crown Enterprises's Rollmaster fantasy game system. Iron Crown also published Vogue Mur and the Cloudlords of Tanara as standalone settings before the 1989 publication of the Shadow World World Atlas First Edition placed those settings in the context of a single overarching campaign. Iron Crown went on to publish several more supplements before the rights to the property reverted to author Terry Amthor. Topic: The World. The focus of the Shadow World setting is the Kulthi's western hemisphere. A massive techno-magical barrier effectively prevents crossing into the eastern hemisphere. The lands of Kulthia are ruled variously by different strains of humans, elves, lugrok, merlog, and other fantastic creatures and peoples. Kulthian cultures vary in their technological development from the early Stone Age to steampunk fantasy interpretations of the Italian Renaissance or the Edwardian era. The presence of magic is a boon and a bane, permitting feats not accomplishable by comparable Earth Age cultures, but retarding overall technological development that lack the understanding of melding science and technology held in Kulthi's ancient history. Trade is performed by water and air going ships or on horse drawn vehicles, all of which must be aided by a guild of navigators who can show paths that circumvent magical, weather, and other hazards left over from ancient wars and malfunctioning technology. The universe Shadow World dovetails into Iron Crown's Terran Imperium, a science fiction scenario based on Frank Herbert's Dune intended for their Space Master game. A handful of light years from Earth, Kulthia is the seventh planet of 13 in its solar system, with a solar orbit of 350 days. Five moons orbit Kulthia. Orhan is the largest it can be seen in full daylight and circles Kulthia in 70 days. This moon is very important to peoples and cultures of Kulthia, and is home to the lords of Orhan. Many calendrical systems are based on Orhan's movement through the sky. Varine is the second largest moon, and is orange in color. With its polar orbit and red color, Charon, the third moon and home to the dark gods, is greatly feared. The waxing of Charon, as well as the time when it reaches its zenith, are considered by many cultures to be a period of ill omen. Also, conjunctions of Charon and Orhan can disturb science flows on Kulthia see below, causing havoc to the planet's weather and general climatic stability. Mikori is the final moon that orbits Kulthia while Tlaloc, counted among the five Kulthian moons, is technically a satellite of Orhan. Topic. Geography Most of the published material for Kulthis the planet's western hemisphere. 
dominated by water. The hemisphere consists of several large continents, including Jamin, Ema, Agira, Phalius, Philen, Thurzul, and others. Two of the most heavily documented continents thus far are Ema and Jamin. There are also several subterranean locations described. In addition to the continents are many archipelagos, the fractured geology intended to suggest the geologically unstable history of the planet. Various products detailing specific areas of Kulthia, ranging from high levels of entire continents Jamin, Land of Twilight or Ema, the Great Continent, to collections of specific adventures Tales of the Lorimasters. Topic: Races. Shadow World broadly categorizes races into the mortal or mannish, though this category includes species such as dwarves and centaurs, immortal or elven species, and half-elven species. The half-elven are not necessarily the direct offspring of a human and an elven parent, but rather long lived the intermixed hybrid population resulting from widespread interbreeding of human and elven populations until speciation occurs, for example the Sulini or Kaitari compared to mortals, either sort of half-elf has a long life, though for species it is measured in centuries while for individuals such as Ella once dark or Tavar Dekdarian it is measurable in millennia, human subspecies are categorizable as roughly descended from extinct species such as the Jinteni, a few varieties of high men, borrowing heavily from Tolkien's Dunedain e Zori or Lan, and many categories of common men, such as Jameri or Hade. Shadow worlds, high men, differ from the Dunedain both in higher racial diversity among the former e.g. the Kinzai are dark-skinned, and there is no suggestion in the source material that high men or their antecedents owe their longer lives to a very distant elven ancestor. There are also so-called evil or monstrous races such as the Merlogi goblins and Lugroki orcs, with speculated origins as the results of alien origin or sorceress manipulation. Topic religion and gods Religions play an active role in the shadow world, with various gods taking active roles in the unfolding of the storyline directly and indirectly. The deities of Kulthia are divided into several categories The lords of Orhan, considered unambiguously good by most human and elven societies. The unlife, identified in the authorial voice as unambiguously evil. The dark gods of Charon, ranging from ethically complex to outright evil in how human and elven cultures view them. Local gods, animistic embodiments of places with immense power over that geographically limited region. Though the spheres of influence for some local gods, such as Ministra, can be quite large, other entitites, such as demons, spirits, dragons, etc., that can convince a population that they are worthy of worship. Religious organizations on Kulthia are dedicated to one or more of these gods, as understood through the filter of their priests and lay worshippers, giving rise to the potential for dispute between different groups worshipping the same god. Religious groups dedicated to the dark gods of Charon are usually, but not always, forced by social pressure to hide their places of worship. History The history of Kulthia is a convoluted and violent one characterized by the cyclical rising and destruction of countless races, kingdoms, and empires. Local wars are common as competing polities vie with one another for resources, people, tribute, or ideological reasons. Vast global conflicts have been fought between the powers of light and darkness, and each one has marked the transition from one era to the next. These wars have nearly destroyed the planet, laying waste to entire continents and leading to millennia of cultural and political stagnation. Kulthi's history is divided into three eras. The current date of the campaign, i.e., the date to which recently published material refers, is 6054 of the Third Era. 
It should be noted that this date has changed, as early versions of the Master Atlas and supplementary materials dated to TE 6050. The more recent versions of the Atlas add material to the overall chronology up through TE 6054. Topic first Era The First Era concerns the history of the Alden race, ruled by the rise of the Kataviri. Lords of S-Science details regarding this age have been left deliberately vague, with allusions to a galaxy spanning Empire's rise, corruption, and catastrophic fall. During this time, the ancestors of most of the current inhabitants of Shadow World were brought to there by the Lords of S-Science. Interregnum In between the first and second, there lies a 100,000-year-long period of recovery and regrowth, also known as the Long Night. Again, the authors have left details of this time period vague, noting only the rise and fall of several empires such as the Jinteni and Warham in southern Ema and Gaal, respectively, who war constantly with the elven realms of the distant east. Both succumb to famine, disease, and natural disasters as well as warfare and disappear approximately 5,000 years before the beginning of the Second Era. <laughs> Second Era The Second Age of Aya begins with the founding of the College of Lori Masters on the secret isle of Carillon by Kiran T. Tharn, Ilmaris Tarizanan, and Andrax, see signature characters. The Lori Masters gather knowledge and disseminate it to advance civilization. They create a reliable calendar based on the phases of the moon Orhan. Using Lori Master Reckoning, history is more accurately recorded than had been the case in the Long Night. The age is characterized by the rise of many polities, attainment of golden ages, and subsequent corruption and destruction by the unlife, culminating in a war of dominion, in which the forces of the unlife gather all their strength and are defeated by the forces of civilization, though once again at catastrophic price. Topic: <laughs> Third Era. The Third Era of Aya, which includes the game's present time, begins with the recovery of civilizations from the depredations of the unlife during the War of Dominion, followed by the stealthy workings of evil forces seeking to destroy them again through subtle means. <laughs> Signature characters The setting is the home of several iconic characters. Andrax, principal founder of the College of Lori Masters. Rande Tarizanen, a Lori Master with more of a heroic streak than is generally smiled upon by the Lori Masters. Ella One Stark, a Lori Master who succumbed to the temptations of unlife and subsequently redeemed himself. Lorgalis the White, warlord of Ulor bent on conquering the world. Topic. Novels Shadow World novels included The Burning Goddess by Ian Hamill, Clayton Emery, Clock Strikes Sword by Ian Hamill, Stephen Billiers, City of Assassins by Ian Hamill, Clayton Emery, Lori Master Legacy by Terry Kay. Amthor Stormriders 1990 by Roxanne Longstreet